What's up everyone, it's your boy NornRad89 here bringing you another video and for today's video it's going to be a physical media haul video so I'm going to go over all the stuff, DVDs, Blu-rays, I even got a steelbook in here, all the stuff that I picked up over the month of March and this is pretty much what I'm typically thinking I'm going to do for my physical media haul videos is if I pick up stuff at any particular type of store or anything like that throughout a certain month I'll probably just do an at the month haul video type thing that's like my you know what I'm doing for my idea for the future unless I get anything specifically in the mail that I ordered from like you know Arrow Video or Vinegar Syndrome or something like that but like I said stay tuned today for the video be sure to subscribe so you get any other videos and other content like this and today like I said going over the April haul video of physical media so let's do this roll it let's kick this off with some dvds and this first one right here is a very special one because private benjamin is one that with goldie hawn as the lead actress i haven't seen in a very long time i think the last time i saw this film i was probably like 12 or 15 but we were like at the store walking by it my wife was like i absolutely adore this film love her character love her performance she's like you gotta get this so my wife loves it i was like i gotta pick it up and I, it'll be cool because it's gonna be kind of a refresher course because this is a film that i haven't seen in like said a very long time you know since 15 16 years since i've been like since i've seen this film <laughs> next up Another DVD film that's going to be Little Shop of Horrors, and this is part of, I believe it's Warner Brothers' new 100-anniversary like anniversary edition right here. And this is a monumental kind of musical film in my life because Little Shop of Horrors, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and West Side Story, these were the two that really kind of got me into musicals that showed me like you know musicals could actually be really great films just like the other films i watched like you know terminator or halloween or friday the 13th and stuff and then you have your original original blah, 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 original cover art right here on the dvd as well so yeah if you haven't seen this film you really need to go out and watch it but i think rocky horror pictures i mean uh, Little Shop of Horrors is kind of, as well as Rocky Horror Picture Show, are kind of those films that are very much products of their time. And I know I can understand if you show someone now who's not used to watching films like this from that era, that it might not connect. There might be a little bit of a disconnect there. But yeah, this is, to me, a really fantastic film. Next up. We have Beetlejuice on DVD, and yes, yeah, sad to say, I did not have Beetlejuice in my collection, and it just kind of seemed fucked up. I'm doing a theme guest bathroom Beetlejuice theme in my house, and I didn't have this film, but I have it, like, either on streaming. I believe I have it on streaming, the service that has it, so that's why my son's always watching it, so maybe just in my mind, I was like, oh... I own this film, but yeah, we picked this one up, and this also has three episodes of the Beetlejuice TV show on it as well, and like, uh, man, this is just a classic film. I wish there was actual cover art, though, and it's like one of those eco cases, so I kind of hate that, but, you know, it's just a great addition to the, you know, physical media collection, because, yeah, my son is absolutely in love with this film. In terms of the horror films that my son really got connected with first, it was Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and Beetlejuice. Those were the two that he got really obsessed with. Now we're on to Infinity Pool, and this was a film that I saw this year in the theaters with very mixed reactions because my wife absolutely hated this film. I gave it a 7 out of 10, which is a very respectable rating in my book. That's not an awful rating, but for me, this is how I would describe it is this is Brendan Cronenberg's most ambitious film with a really great concept, but he doesn't hone it correctly. And that third act is just like a complete mess. So that's the main problem with Infinity Pool is that like after you watch this film, you're kind of left with more questions than answers. And that's very frustrating. But when I'm watching it, I can see the vision. I can see what he was going for. It just didn't land right. But Brandon Cronenberg has a fantastic catalog because he also did Possessor and also a film called Antiviral, which are really, really great films. But Infinity Pool, like, I, if I'm honest with you, I think Infinity Pool 
is his worst one, but I'm such a Brandon Cronenberg fan that I support his film, so that's why I bought it on physical media. Plus, 7 out of 10. Like I said, very respectable rating for me. Next up, switching up gears with Cocaine Bear, which is a very much a callback to those 90s and 80s cult classic creature flicks, you know, ridiculous ideas of like a 600 plus pound, you know, grizzly bear coming across a pile of cocaine and just mauling a bunch of people. It's a wild idea, and yes, it is based on a true story, and they do take a lot of liberties with that true story. It did not go down like this, but this film has a fantastic cast like Jesse Tyler Ferguson, Carrie Russell, Ray Liotta, rest in peace, we miss you, O'Shea Jackson. There's just a banging cast, So, and like for me, this is one of those films that I kind of just shut my brain off. And I just enjoy my like the Carnage candy. And any kind of character stuff that I get is just a bonus. So that's why I liked Cocaine Bear a lot. I gave this one, I believe, an 8 out of 10. And currently it's sitting, I believe, at number 5 or number 6 of my 2023 ranking for films that I've seen so far. But I haven't seen a lot of films in theaters or caught a lot of 2023 films. I've been kind of binging a lot of other stuff but yeah so far cocaine bear is still like really high up in my top 10 of the year so far next up we have pearl and this is a walmart exclusive slip cover that i've been dying dying to pick up and man yeah pearl is a fantastic film ty west just knocked it out of the park with x and pearl i can't wait for maxine mia goth is slam dunk just a great she smashes the role in this film as pearl i'm just such she really does like lay down this crazy character that's like a joker type character and you watch her unravel through the film and it's just so captivating the stuff that she does and i know she's kind of an, an acquired taste i can understand that but mia goth right now she's she's just kind of hot right now she's everywhere she's in this She's in the Infinity Pool. She was in X. She's also going to be in like a Mary Shelley's new Frankenstein rendition, I heard. So, yeah, Pearl is just really a great film that Ty West. I can't wait for Maxine. I definitely do fancy X more. That's more of my favorite because X is a slasher film. It's more of a Texas Chainsaw Massacre type film. And it has such a great soundtrack, that late 70s, early 80s vibe. But Pearl, really, with the Wizard of Oz type vibes and what Ty West and Mia Goth were able to craft with this film and the fact that they shot it, and I believe in like three weeks, this is like a masterpiece. It's such a great film. Now we're going to end this film, or end, end this film. We're going to end this video with the Steelbook. And yes, I got the The Thing Steelbook from 2011. This is the prequel to John Carpenter's The Thing. And this is a movie that... I have a great adoring love for this film and I think really the only thing wrong with this film is the CGI and I think a lot of people kind of talk crap about this movie. This stars Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Joel Egerton and yeah not a lot of people have gravitated toward this film or have even given it a watch and that's why I'm like for real you need to check this film out because it's a great companion piece to John Carpenter's The Thing and that's why I love it is like you can watch this film and then watch John Carpenter's The Thing right after and they fit together so perfectly and that's why I really do love this film. The only thing wrong with this film besides you know is the CGI is nothing. There's That's it. The CGI is the only thing that kind of bothers me about this film. The cast is a banger. The story is a banger. Like I said the way that it flows into John Carpenter's The Thing you know, just chef's kiss. So yeah, really this film, The Thing, and maybe the title because it's just called The Thing. And the other one, I mean, the only way you're going to recognize the other one is when people reference John Carpenter's The Thing. So maybe if they change the title, you know what I mean? You know, The Thing Origins, you know, something like that. But that's just a cheesy negative. The only major negative is the CGI. So if anyone out there or if there's somebody out there who hasn't given this film a watch yet because they really were like nah i can't john carpenter's the thing is the king and which i'm not arguing that that is literally one of the greatest sci-fi films to ever touch this planet earth but like i said this is a beautiful companion piece to that film and thanks for sticking around with me all for this physical media video i know i didn't pick up a lot but i've been really trying to 
take back my spending on, you know, money wise, saving a lot of stuff. You know, I got, got bills, of course, got the house, I got three kids and everything. And I really got to finish my guest bathroom with some of that Beetlejuice theme stuff. I've, it's been a long project, but me and my wife, we really got to knock that out. So I've been kind of taking back, not spending as much money, but like I said, all that stuff I picked up through the month of April. And let me know in the comment section if there's anything new that you picked up in physical media. I would love to discuss that with you. And be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Because I believe there's like 80 or 82% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed yet. So make sure you click that button, subscribe, and the notification bell so you're notified anytime I post videos. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.